There is new information from Oklahoma. We've learned all the missing people have been accounted for. The death toll remains at 24, while the number of people hurt rises to 325. The tornado that struck down in Moore, Oklahoma, devastated the Plaza Towers Elementary School, killing nearly every student in a third grade class. But Zach Lewis, a nine year old, walked away untouched. News Channel 5 Stephanie Ramirez is in Moore tonight and spoke exclusively to Zach's parents. Today, nine-year-old Zach Lewis is back home with his family, but he is now only one of two students from his third grade class at Plaza Towers Elementary that his parents tell us survived Monday's deadly storm. Julie Lewis watching from work. I knew it was heading straight for them, and I couldn't get a hold of him because the cell phones didn't work. All Julie told us she could do was pray her husband got to Zach in time, only to find out he did. Scott rushing to pick up their son from the school as he saw the tornado quickly approaching. He was pretty upset at the school because they had him in the, you know, down on the ground, cover your heads. So they were the kids were huddled. Kids the were huddled and a lot of them were scared. But Scott could only take his son and did, running into the storm shelter at their home as soon as they got out. First thing I saw were a lot of civilians just running to the school because they knew children were still inside there. Now Wednesday, Julie and Scott say their son still doesn't know what they know. I, I don't have any words. All I could say was thank God I got him in time, you know, and thought to myself how selfish that is because there were so many more kids in that hallway that you wish you could have helped, but you couldn't. I thought Zach would be okay at that school, but obviously I was wrong. So many children died and it was his classroom, his friends. Scott and Julie also lost their home from the tornado. And you can see the destruction behind me here. Back here is where the Lewis's home is, as well as the school. They have not been able to return to their home yet as police continue to block this area. Now without a home and their valuable items, both tell me they only lost materials and are asking the public to help the families that lost their loved ones. My heart just goes out to them. Just let people know we need your prayers. That'll do the most. On your side in Moore, Oklahoma, Stephanie Ramirez, News Channel 5.